Now, Joe, I want to talk to you about your language. Why the fuck do you swear so much? I don't know. Have you read anything about the science of swearing? No. Do you know that there is a science of swearing? A science? Yes, it's pretty interesting stuff. Oh. So the part of your brain that produces swear words is not the part of the brain that manages ordinary language. Oh. Really interesting. Uh, you know, we have two language centers in our left frontal cortex. Mm -hmm. uh, people that have strokes that damage them often lose language completely, but they can still swear. Oh. So swearing is coming from somewhere else. Uh, it may be coming from the right hemisphere, mm. but it's also coming from deeper centers in the brain that connect to the limbic system and the amygdala, and that in, in connects to the involuntary nervous system. So here's a couple interesting facts. Okay. Uh, swearing is associated with sweating, increased sweating. Hmm. So you should be dripping with sweat. Uh, I haven't sweat that much. I'm a comedian. I'm, okay. I, I'm Second, sure it's Secondly, it, also interesting, swearing uh, in, increases pain tolerance. And there's an interesting experiment. You know, the standard way they do pain tolerance, they have people stick their hand in a bucket of ice and water, mm -hmm. and you see how long they can keep it there. The people who say, fuck, shit, can keep it there much longer than people who are not allowed to swear. What about noises? What if they just go, ah. No, it was swearing specifically. Mm, so they've tried noises and swearing? Yeah, and swearing so it may one. be, you know, when you, uh, if you're hammering a nail and hit your thumb, yeah. you s use one of those words, that's a good strategy. That's interesting because I almost always do that. If I hurt mm -hmm. something, especially a finger, mm -hmm. you know, like I slammed a yeah, finger yeah. in a car door the other day and I went, motherfucker. <laughs> So that's what that is? But that's, yeah, and it's interesting. Mm. It's coming, there's a different part of the brain that, mm. that manages that. It has different emotional content. Yeah, it flavors language. Yes. I, I like them. I'm a big fan of the swears. I'll leave you some papers about the science of swearing. It's interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting. Now, what, if, what, would, what would happen if they were no longer taboo? Would the same they'd lose areas... their power. I think they'd lose their power. Yeah. That, yeah, right. The same areas of the brain wouldn't... No. Like, I remember there was an episode of, I don't remember what television show, but it was uh, on CBS. Yeah. And uh, they had a line at the end of the show, and essentially they were saying, shit happens. <laughs> and it was a big deal. I'll Th bet. It was a big deal that they wanted to be able to say, shit happens. Uh -huh. And apparently they pulled this off, and they got it through, <laughs> and it was like a 10 p.m. show, so it was okay. And it was 11 o'clock by the time they said shit. And uh, I remember thinking, like, wow, what a strange sort of, like, how many people were involved in this sort of dance like how many lawyers and executives uh -huh. and who like it's very strange very strange that this one word would tr everybody knows the word right it's not even that so it's offensive. kind of a, a you know a, a kind of game we all yes. play. yes right? <laughs> yes so but you're saying this game is facilitated by one specific part of the brain and is so that because like i don't swear I don't know. words are taboo words they're right? taboo words and often associated with things that we find offensive mm -hmm. uh or with bodily acts that freak people out yeah so but so there's both a there's a psychological social aspect to it but there's also a neurological aspect to it now when the words like some for some words for some people like i remember when i was a kid uh i lived in florida for a little bit and uh, I said hell once, and uh, in Florida in the 1970s, hell was a swear. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I came from New Jersey, <laughs> and then I was in San Francisco, and then all of a sudden I was in Florida, and I said hell. And they're like, don't swear like that in this class. I was like, swear? <laughs> what the fuck are you people talking about? Like, it didn't make any sense to me. And then I was like, you guys have different swears. Yeah. Now, if you had a word that was not taboo to you, Mm -hmm. Would it be, would that same area of your brain be? I don't know. This is, it, it, there has not been a lot of research. It hasn't mm. been taken seriously, but that's all interesting questions that should yeah, be studied. Because it, some, I mean, if you're a really super conservative person, there's right. a lot of words that are off the table. Yeah. But if you are a far more, you know, just loose with your language, you could shit this and this, yeah. god damn it. You know, that would be nothing. Like, right. god damn it would be just like, right. ah, shucks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But to someone, god damn it would be like a really bad, big deal. Bad, yeah. yeah, really big deal. <laughs> so, like, what it would be different parts of the brain would be activated mm -hmm. by that versus you, if you said it, it would be not that big a deal. But if someone was like super conservative and they Probably said it. Probably even, yeah, more. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, interesting. What do, you, do you think that that is a universal thing? I mean, it obviously seems is to be, It seems to be universal. Right? Seems to be universal. Yeah. Another finding that I came across is that people who learn a second language 
that swearing in the second language does not have the same emotional impact that your first language does. Oh, that makes sense. That's yeah. why they're so fun when you learn yeah. Spanish swears. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you get a free ride. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's interesting. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, and you can do them on television too. <laughs> right? You can yeah. say a lot of Spanish swears right. on English speaking T V uh-huh. and everybody just pleads ignorance. <laughs> do you so and does every language have yes. They all have swears. Yeah. Every language has taboo words, swear words. Wow. Yeah, it's universal. That is really interesting. Yeah. Asian languages, European yeah. languages, yeah. all of them, huh? Yeah. Wow. Huh. So th- that <clears throat> that would, at least in my brain, seem to indicate that there's like some use for that. Yes. Well, there are probably many uses. One is this thing of uh, modulating pain. One is a, a social bonding, mm. you know, forming some community. Yeah, that's how I kind of use it. Yeah, I think, right. I think when I swear in front of people, I'm testing them out. Yeah. Like, you freaking out if I say fuck? Because <laughs> if you are, I can't talk to you. Right. Like, you're too much work. Right. You know? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like I know exactly what If you're you talking mean. to someone in every other word, like, well, I w- really wish you wouldn't use that language. Well, okay. You, there's so much work to do here. I can't, I know exactly can't hold your you hand, mean. dance through this garden. Right. Yeah. The, it's, um, it's to me also, like, I hang around with a lot of people that swear a lot because mm-hmm. I hang around with professional comedians and right. fighters, and there's a lot of... Uh, swashbuckling freewheeling type of individuals involved in those pursuits 